we stay in the state of Texas and go to another extreme here. There are extremes in Texas. They do everything big in Texas. Now they need to win big, Jimbo, at Texas A&M. All the resources, all the money, all the facilities, rabid fan base, love their team, pack the house, underperformed, of course, huge. More than anybody in college football in 2022, Texas A&M's run to 5-7 and seven was disappointing, and that was with a win against LSU to close out the season. So that may be insignificant or seem to be, but realize a team that had underachieved to that degree, that had nothing to play for, was playing a team that was headed to Atlanta to still keep hopes alive for a college football playoff appearance, and they rose up in that final game. So they fought for Jimbo Fisher in that final game. Bobby Petrino comes in. It's going to be interesting to see the dynamic between Fisher and Petrino as they try to work together. Yes, and consider they lost close. They were close. Yes, deplorable, awful, shouldn't have lost seven games. None of that is acceptable, but... They were close. They were not Miami 5-7. and seven. Texas A&M, of course, they've got the resources Jimbo needs to deliver. Or as that buyout lessens and decreases, he could be shown the door very soon. 12-team playoff is another one that's going to be a benefit to this particular program. At number 18 on our list of best programs in college football, gig em, gig em, gig em.